All right. We are finally off to Byzantium, guys. Let's do this. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Okay. So... Companion quest. So, I need Pavardi and Ellie. Quick save. Let me switch into... Okay, I am in my dialogue stuff. I just want to have that on in preparation. Don't move me. Stop putting your butt in my face. Okay. Have those two with me because we're working on their quests. Visual review. No. Okay. This is intense. Byzantium Freight Port. Okay. And just like that, we're going to just burn through this real fast. Wait. Summary. Why is my dexterity so low? Huh. Oh, I'm hung over. Ah. I'll I'll buy like some cure all or whatever because I'm just so strapped for cash, guys. All right. Okay. Dialogue. Go up in for. Let's go all in for persuading. Apply. Accept. Wow. This is even more artificial than I thought it would feel. Retirees? What am I looking at? Okay. Let's try going through the first door we saw. Nope. I'm so used to them having their unique looks. Okay. Come on. Okay, so this is where it opens and tries to wow me, I'm guessing. Why can't something exciting happen around here for once? Nothing wrong with stability. It means everything's running like clockwork. Don't you ever want a little fun? Maybe see a marauder ship get blown to bits overhead? What a thing to say. Everyone knows marauders can't fly. Hmm. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? What's up, Kid, Maverick? You got presence. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. There's those street smarts. Just the right amount of rough around the edges. Next time, we'll have you say that over the rim of a trippist out. Product placement, baby. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? Just working for a mad scientist, Cap. A mad scientist? Guy sounds like he's moonlighting. Here's some free advice. If you want to make it in this business, you gotta work with professionals. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. 
I see you in pictures, kid. Tell me what you're offering. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit. But we still need a star. And I think you got the chops. Ah! Captain! You're gonna be in pictures! Already got an entourage, huh? Way to get ahead of the game. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? I'm curious as to where this quest would go. I'm in, sure. Why Terrific! Not? We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. I'm going to... I'm definitely going to hold off on doing anything with that. According to local legend, if you walk around the orrery three times, your corporate rival will die of a paper cut. Uh, I think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the gearings. Nah, probably just shot. Hey, hey, hey. Come with me. You are just so neglected. Okay. All right, so up and around. Okay, Bavardi, you need to be ready to dock this time. Over here, let me take a closer look at you. Did you just call me the person with the hips? Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Don't speak. Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. The way you rest your weight against your hip. Suggests a certain rugged charisma possessed only by the mighty primal and the well-traveled spacer. Splendid. I love it. There it is. The most pretentious thing I'll hear all day. You can tell all that by the way I'm standing. That's me. You can tell all that from the way I'm standing. Your walk. Your posture, the cut of your clothes, you carry yourself with the bearing of a noble, but you dress like a barbarian. How deliciously outré. Outré. I'm Celeste Jolicoeur, and you, my dear, are exactly what Byzantium needs. What Byzantium needs is to be taken apart. Are you trying to sell me something? It's like you read my mind. Are you trying to sell me something? I'm an artist, darling, not a tweed merchant. I don't sell things. I holiday the world with art. I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? You've got a, high, a pretty high opinion of someone you've just met, yeah. Everything I need to know can be deduced from a first impression. You're an outsider. You're exotic. You carry a whiff of barbarism and adventure. You're the embodiment of everything I want in my new line. What do you have in mind? When I look at you, I see the very embodiment of everything the walls of Byzantium were built to keep out. Making an outfit worthy of you won't be easy. I'll need your help gathering the right materials. Ah. Uh, I'll help you out. Marvelous! You and I are going to wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face. What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed madmen of Monarch dress themselves? I've heard rumors, but I require samples. And also, I just sold all I of my armor. I expect you to <laughs> model for me. Any excuse to admire my looks, can't blame you. Not much for modeling. Benefit of seeing me wear it. Any excuse to admire my looks, can't blame you. <laughs> oh, you cad. You'll be the talk of Byzantium once I'm done with you. I'll need you to model for me the following. The apparel of an iconoclast, the armor of a marauder, and a full ensemble of spacer gear. Helmet included. And when I say spacer gear... I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacers choice pedals. You have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. You're going to absolutely murder this job. Don't tempt me. 
I need to know more about these outfits. I expect you'll cut an exquisite figure. What else do you need to know? What's so interesting about Marauder armor? I don't know. I've never seen a Marauder. Not in person, anyway. There are always Aetherwade programs, but I want something authentic. Byzantium is long overdue for a change of wardrobe, my dear. Something barbaric, yet elegant. You said something about an Iconoclast outfit. I've heard rumors of these Iconoclasts, half-mad zealots rampaging across the surface of Monarch. You'll have to find your own way into Monarch. I can't help you. Even if I could, I prefer not to interfere with your creative process. <laughs> Find spacer gear. If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe, I'd probably head to the Groundbreaker. I'll see what I can do. Fabulous! I can't wait to see what you dredge up. Uh, my engineer's going on a date. She needs an outfit. You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. Yes, a good My look word. at you. My word. Such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. With, with that bulky as hell oh, armor. I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense. You're absolutely lovely. Yeah. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing and copyright. There. I can cover 6,000 bits. She's an engineer. You think she can afford that? She needs to impress her true love. Fees for licensing and copper. Cut the bullshit. Show me a fair price now. Hold up. Did you actually measure her for this outfit? I didn't see any measuring tape. Measuring tape. Yeah. Darling, do I look like an amateur? I read her measurements by eye. And don't you ask, because they're no one's business but her own. I can cover 6,000 bits. Now stand back. Back, back! I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. Alright. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? Probably not. What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Oh. Tomo me. No. What's happening? Wish you... Okay, I'll see you around. I think so. Uh, Bavardi? Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time? I can... I just have to... Actually do it now. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a part Junlei's been looking for. To fix up the air cyclers? Stop it. They only carried them on big colony ships. Like the Hope. Bavardi, making every little thing perfect won't change your feelings. No, we're done running all over the system. Change, making every little thing perfect, yeah. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. Sweet. Okay. Talk to her on the ship. Visit Ellie's parents. I love Byzantium. 
Where else are you going to find art? Hmm. Oh, okay. Scoop. Sorry. Thankfully, there's no collision when that happens. Wait, what? What on earth? Oh no, it's a, it's just a sleeping kinnit. I thought it was dead. I was like, what the hell is a dead kinnit doing here? <laughs> Wait, so do I need to go like, do I need to go through here? Yeah, I did. Okay. Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. Hmm. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. Hmm. Profits are soaring. Promotions abound. Thanks to your continued hard work, Halcyon is healthier and more productive than ever. Hmm. Coming months, Byzantium will be sure to see the many rewards reaped from your diligent labor. Once we nail down the details, I can't wait to share what's in store. For now, my friends, keep up the hard work. All right. Sure, they look fancy. But inside, they're just marble and existential emptiness. There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial grade cleaning solvent and desperation. Wait, what? Oh. Alright. Hard save and a quick save, as usual. Felkill Estate. A part of me is wondering if I'm about to get sitcomed. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> yep. Like, if she's going to try to sell me as, like, the person she's romantically involved with, even though there's, like, no actual chemistry there. Marilyn, is that you? Mars, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. Spit on the floor. Fancy place. I'll probably be taking a few things with me. <laughs> Hello. Ellie, let's do this another time. A pleasure to meet you. Thank you for welcoming us into your home. I'm gonna go with number one. I know Ellie wants to be abrasive, but I I want to see where being friendly gets me. I don't know what to say. He's usually not like this. Come on, you're supposed to help me make an impression. <laughs> anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. What? The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? You made your point. Can we get this? Indeed, save towns and restored prosperity across Halcyon. Theft, vandalism, profanity. You name it, we've done it at least twice. We've saved towns. Are you trying to make me look bad? <laughs> Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. What? We'll leave when we're good and ready. You tell him. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. Hold up. The floors aren't just nice. They're top quality marble. He's right. Since when can you afford authentic Terran marble? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. <laughs> we thought you were dead. Don't sound so disappointed about it. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. 
I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. Why do I get the feeling you're about to apologize for we something? We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. You what? Talk about making lemon slap out of lemons. But I'm sure you're much happier knowing she's alive and well, right? Listen quietly. Well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. So tell them Ellie's back. You'll be talking to the town. Well, listen quietly. Why did you do that? We had to explain your disappearance somehow. We couldn't very well tell people you'd you'd run off to become a a miscreant, could we? I'll have you know, Ellie's a professional miscreant. Shh. Someone could hear you. We concocted a story about Celeste Jolly Girl designing a pair of 12-inch heels for you. One of a kind, naturally. That led to your tragic death when you tripped and broke your neck. It was quite the story. People were talking about it for weeks. Pretty funny story. Listen quietly. Couldn't you have at least made up a better story? Something with pirates or raptodons? And what are you going to do now that we're here? Yes, um, about that. We were just about to ask you to uh, leave. Quietly, if you don't mind. If you really knew your daughter, you'd know quiet is not in her vocabulary. Hmm. She hasn't changed a bit, I see. That's it? You just want us to disappear now? Marilyn, please. Don't cause a scene. Ellie, you deserve be better than this. Damn right, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. Let's talk outside. Yeah. I'm... I'm ready to... To burn a lot of stuff down.